So this afternoon I am talking with Shoned and Maureen from Black Box Projects um, based in and around Belfast, I understand. Uh, Shoned, would you like to tell us a bit more about Black Box Projects, please? Yes, good afternoon, Robin. Thanks for having us. We're really excited to be here. Um, so I am Outreach Officer at The Black Box, and um, The Black Box is a multidisciplinary arts venue in Belfast, and it is in Belfast Cathedral Quarter, right in the centre. So there's lots of different things going on at The Black Box, and um, I'm Outreach Officer for Black Box Projects, which are for and by people with learning disabilities. And we run lots of different workshops, including creating connections and moving and music and um, all arts based activities where we encourage people to express themselves um, through music and the arts. Maureen, can you tell me what you like to do at Black Box and, and what your involvement is? I am part of the Moon Base group that Shona leads. Uh, Moon Base uh, is for people with learning difficulties and their friends and volunteers. And I got involved during lockdown uh, when Shonard was one of the first people to set up a whole load of Zoom meetings about three times a week at the start it was. So it kept us all occupied. And then when the lockdown ended and the summertime came, we went down to a forest on the banks of the River Lagan and had meetings outside uh, with a tarpaulin over us. And then we got back into the, the actual building in the black box. Um, I have done things like, I have, uh, because I do junk journals, uh, I don't know if you've heard of junk journals, have you? Um, I started junk journaling and um, I've taught it at Moon Base voluntarily. Um, uh, one session on that and then another session on making Christmas cards. That was a, and that actually, uh, the one on uh, junk journaling was soon, still the lockdown. Um, the one on making Christmas cards, we were face to face. Well, we were socially distanced. Very, Shona is very careful about the social distancing. But now we're back for this month anyway, back to soon because of, because of Omicron. So, Ned, just what is the range of activities that you do? Um, well, as, as Maureen's already explained, some of them with um, different arts and crafts activities, but we also have music, storytelling, poetry, drama, um, and really anything that the group are interested in doing. Um, just before Christmas, we had a drag persona workshop, which was brilliant, with, with Gemma Hutton, who's a, a drag artist here in Belfast. And I have to say, everybody brought their A game. Maureen, uh, you had a brilliant outfit that day. Um, so it's just really, really anything that the group would like to try. Um, and um, any way that people would like to express themselves. Maureen's already said um, she has led some, some group sessions and would like to encourage that as much as possible. Um, so if someone has an idea or an interest, we'll, we'll try our best to facilitate that. It sounds marvellous. In a few moments, uh, we're going to watch a film um, that Black Box have made called Feelings. Would you like to tell us a bit about the film I take it it was made in the park in Belfast. Yes, certainly. So we, we were really excited um, because Disability Arts Online um, supported this project. So Moon Music had already written a piece in collaboration with Ruth McGinley, who is a pianist here in Belfast. She's from Derry. Um, and the piece of music was centered around relaxation, what sounds people enjoyed hearing and um, 
what made them feel relaxed. So that was really interesting. It began with people sending us perhaps bird song they recorded in the garden or the sound of running water or going for a walk in their local area, which again became so important to us all over lockdown. And um, I think everybody universally appreciated nature and the connection to nature. So we had this piece of music and we wanted to create a video. And to do that, we worked with Sarah Riseborough, who is a Northumberland based artist and that was really interesting because that was obviously on Zoom, so Belfast, Northumberland, um, and what we were trying to do was create visual images to go with the music and uh, I, I hope you enjoy watching the video and it's that uh, combination of visual and the sound um, and how that makes you feel. Um, and as you mentioned, the park, we went on several socially distanced walks in botanic gardens in Belfast and in Ormo Park. And the video is to bring all of those together and hopefully to give us a sense of calm and relaxation when you're listening to it. And a resource to tap into because here we are, as Maureen mentioned, um, in another a semi-lockdown so it's something that we can we can use and listen to again and again maybe Maureen would like to say something well some of my artwork was in it a photo of the river lagging and what else a wee painting I did it was an abstract painting I think what was the bird song was that Sarah's recording the um, bird song? yes that's right another group member called Sarah had had put some bird song into the piece that's right and it's Sarah speaking that speaks it's hard to find words for feelings. Yes, um, that's, that was very interesting because that was Sarah's idea. We were talking about feelings and Sarah said it is hard to find words for feelings. And that became that became the title. Yeah, you're right, Maureen. Well, I've watched the video. Our Together TV viewers are also going to get to watch it soon. And I do know it's up online, so we'll put a, um, a link to it. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I found it really relaxing without knowing that that was the purpose of the film. So it truly works. So before we watch it, can I just say thank you so much for joining us. Um, and I look forward to some more art coming out of Black Box. Thank you so much, Robin. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. 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 Thank mm -hmm. you. 